TYT Sports, so game five between the Coyotes and the Kings in the NHL playoffs. The winner of this series goes to the Stanley Cup Finals. If the Kings won tonight, in which they were up in the series 3-1, to one, they would be going to the Stanley Cup for their first time since 1993 when Wayne Gretzky and the Kings lost to the Canadians, I believe, in five games. So now let's go, let's have a conversation. Let's have a run through very quickly of what transpired during this game. Firstly, the first period, Taylor Pyatt had a power play goal four minutes and 20 seconds into the, into the game. Anze Kopitar had a shorty, the Kings fifth of the season. Second period, the teams traded two goals each, all in a 10 minute span. Third period, Derek Morris, two minutes for delay a game. Now, the Kings would go on the power play, obviously. They would not score in the third period, so it would be three to three. We go into overtime. So then the overtime starts. The Kings also could not score off the power play in overtime. So we had a lot of weird moments also that happened in overtime. Firstly, Drew Doughty, the 22-year-old man out of Ontario, absolutely lost it when he got called for interference on Ray Whitney. The penalty was killed. However, if you guys could see him and what he did and how he just simply lost it when the penalty was called on him. It was quite comedic, actually. Uh, if you're a Kings fan, obviously you were going probably nuts and sitting on pins and needles at that point. Moments later, or many moments later, Mike Smith loses his glove, and for a good 25 to 30 seconds, the puck stayed in the Coyotes' defensive zone, and after a good 30 seconds, when play was stopped, Mike Smith went right up to the refs, got right in the linesman's face, asking him why he didn't uh, call the play dead because Smith didn't have his glove. Meanwhile, Brian Inglom would later tell us that the puck cannot be and play cannot be stopped because a goalie loses his glove. So now we go even later in overtime. Dustin Brown hits Michael Roosevelt on an offside call. The Coyotes bench were screaming, it was a knee, it was a knee, a scrum erupted for a few moments in the King zone. If you did not see that hit, hear that is very quickly. To the rapper, now it's stop, and now that's awesome. If his legs are in the tracks already, or does he lean in? So now you are probably asking yourself, was there a penalty called? No, there was no penalty called on this play. Bob McKenzie, who I will get to uh, moments after we are done of TSN, had a great analysis of the call either way. There was no penalty called on Dustin Brown on the offsides call, so a little controversy there. Just moments later, maybe about 9 to 11 seconds later, here is what happened in overtime. Here comes Carter, closing in, save, rebound out in front of Tampa Penner. He scores! Dustin Penner ends it in So Dustin Penner wins it for the LA Kings, his first playoff goal ever in overtime, and it could not have come at a bigger time on a bigger stage. The Kings now have eight days to rest before they face either the Rangers or the Devils, whoever comes out of the Eastern Conference, plenty of days to rest. An awesome, awesome game for the LA Kings. Sorry for the Coyotes. However, one thing that I did want to bring up, it was somewhat classless to me personally, seeing all the Coyotes fans where the Kings were celebrating, throwing any objects they could find at them, and also Mike Smith taking a swipe uh, at Richards after Penner scored the goal. So now, the handshake line, of course, the fabulous handshake line. Martin Hansel, Shane Doan absolutely gave it to Dustin Brown in the handshake line. They, they, they shook his hand, but they let him know how they felt on uh, Brown's hit on Michael Roosevelt. Of course, Roosevelt was helped off the ice, did not return in this game, obviously. So the Kings advance, as I said, since 1993, their first time going to the Cup in since 1993. They have beaten now the number one, number two, and number three seeds in the Western Conference. An unbelievable, improbable Cinderella run that is the LA Kings. I truly believe that the team changed when they acquired Jeff Carter from the Columbus Blue Jackets for Jack Johnson. So now Drew Doughty had a goal and an assist. Jonathan Quick, 38 saves. The first team to go under, undefeated on their way to the Stanley Cup Finals. They have won eight straight road games. An unprecedented eight straight road games. So now Bob McKenzie, his take on what happened on the Dustin Brown hit. Here's what he said, and these are tweets as we will show you right now. Three questions on the Brown hit. One, should it have been a penalty? Two, if so, what penalty? Three, is it suspendable? 
Based on NHL history, I don't believe league will view it as a knee-on-knee -knee hit as much as a body check with incidental leg-on-leg -leg contact. Brown went in to hit with wide stance, but his track never deviated from straight line and upper body contact was made. Not a classic knee. In closing, I'd be shocked if Brown is suspended. Tough way for Phoenix to lose, though, but that's what usually happens when you dig deep hole early. So congratulations to the LA Kings. Congratulations to your fans. Uh, again, unbelievable, unprecedented, but a hell of a team to watch. So let me know your thoughts. Tweet those at me, at Rick Strom. Give me your thoughts on the game. Like or hate the video. I don't care. Either way, and also follow me. Why not? Facebook page in the description below. Comment in the comments section below. And also, please do us a favor. Subscribe to TYT Sports.